Hey guys, it's Mr. Jacket Triple Zero here, back with BMG Drive, and today we're going to take a look at some of the features of Update 0.21, which was released on December 15th, 2020. And first of all, I am on the newly and improved remastered Jungle Rock Island. As you can see, right next to me is the hangar, which you can take a better look at this. They have updated many places on here, including the entirety of maps, such as this hangar. Now we got a tree growing through the hangar, which is definitely illegal and a newer runway and they got rid of the little uh, control tower now it's just a basic looks like a guard tower or something and not only that they have added a lot of variants to this here d series if you go to the gabriel d series uh ignore some of the topics here because these are some uh vehicle skins mod that i've downloaded a long time ago is if you scroll all the way to the bottom one of them is the D45 diesel rollback uplift, a flatbed trailer, a newer cargo box uplift, and even a few trophy trucks. And a sports truck, just to name a few of them. But first of all, we're going to take a look at the D15 423 Sport, which has a 6.9 liter V8 engine, a new engine in this game. That's a nice engine, devs. And taking a look at this vehicle, one of the improvements that they did add in this game with the D-Series, including a few others, which I'm going to mostly highlight as the D-Series, that they did improve the textures of the lights here, especially the brake lights. And you can barely see the headlights, but you can see the brake lights. It's that uh, there is a more defined brake light texture on the covers here. And take a look at the front end. Not a whole lot, even though it's a, I think this is a pre-facelift model or a last-gen model, and the ones you spawn in is the next-gen model of the D-Series, which they did state that in the dev blog, as you can see at the bottom of the description, is that they did update the taillights and the headlights at some of the D-Series. And take a look at the interior, uh, pretty much basic, still can go up to 120 miles an hour according to speedometer, revs up to 5,000 RPM, and still got your bench seats. So now, let's take a drive with this vehicle, hit the gas pedal with this nice 6.9 liter engine. I mean, these devs are probably <laughs> on something making this type of engine. Not a bad drift there. Let's go the entire length of the runway, and as soon as I go the entirety of the length, I spawn at the nearest road. I think that's where the lighthouse is at. And they did add a resort or something down, I think the road off to the left here, so getting ready to jump off. 96 miles an hour right there and this is going to be pretty deadly right here 16 times slow-mo exhaust damage drive shaft broken we got the front grill out including the back bed too and engine broken nice we ruined a good big ass 6.9 almost 7 liter engine and boom there we go into the beach and barely or well, now we're in the water and we really cooled down the engine too so Global warming ain't happening in this vehicle, folks. All right, so let's spawn on the road here. I think it's a, is it a dirt road? Oh, this road here, this concrete road, not the dirt road. So spawn it right here and then recover the vehicle. And I want to do go over later on is that they added a uh, feature where if there's like, uh, like you're in a tight space, you've got like a million vehicles around you. It doesn't spawn like to the left, to the left, to the left, and to the left. And then you spawn the vehicle to the left. You're like through the guardrail or in these trees or something. It tries to stay in the road as best as possible. All right, so the resort is on my left, so let's make this left-hand turn, and, and when I go to the resort up here, I'm going to switch over to the uh, pre-runner, the D15 pre-runner trophy truck, and probably go off-roading right, right there as soon as I can. And two, this doesn't even have ABS brakes, and there goes the transmission. And sometimes it gets you driving automatic trans uh, transmissions in BMG Drive, where you hit the brakes, it downshifts, and it struggles to upshift like it doesn't even want to. Kind of like that one right there again. So here is the resort on here. Slamming the brakes. I think this is ABS or just weak, weak brakes on this vehicle. So this is the resort. Drive under here and just park it right here. Go to free cam and take a look at this resort. I think this was new because if you go to the spawn menu of Jungle Rock Island, there is a spawn uh, location, I think, on here, right? Uh, yes, right here. Resort. I think the resort is brand new. Also, I'll be taking you to the observatory, which is like the other side of this map here. So as promised, go to the D-Series menu and spawn in the pre-runner D-15 truck right here. You get the regular D-15 pre-runner, the extended cab, and I think the Rock Racer and Super Pig. Even though it don't drive his truck that much, I think these are new, but let's go with the regular pre-runner D-Series. 
So here is the pre-runner here. We got a loud ass exhaust, a couple fire extinguishers, a spare tire, and a trophy truck body and frame, like a standard issue trophy truck you see on uh some racing games, Mav TV, and some uh, sports television programs, stuff like that. And this is the facelift model of the D series. They get the late 90s and early 2000s version, like the facelifted Roamer, which I covered that in 0 0.20. And this is a menacing trophy truck, and it says Screamer. Nice. All right, so back on up, get back on the road, and oh boy, this is loud. And it's a manual transmission. Let's menacingly get back on the road without hitting the wall there. Not a bad drift. Try to get back into control. And we're good. Barely staying straight as possible. And getting a prompt to crash test going because I suck at driving. You know what? I'll just recover my vehicle right there and that's a dirt road. Screw us go off this dirt road right here and hopefully this does take me to the observatory. If not, then oh well. I could just use this to do a uh, test off road capabilities of this truck and slow way down here and holy leg spike but we're doing okay just bumped into a couple of rocks but it ain't slowing us down one bit going around highway speeds drifting quite a bit in this dirt road and get ready to brake well not harsh hard in the brakes and through the road still on the dirt road and still drifting nice going through some of that mud there and almost popped myself on the rocks there a little bit of splashiness onto some mud and the water there and let's not go uphill and what was that i don't think this is new i don't know whatever let's just keep on going straight i don't know if that place is new or not but i rarely visited this man i think the last time i visited was testing out my 1960s automation beam and g drive uh created vehicle the jmc act out which was supposed to be fictionally the very first to quote unquote crossover vehicle before the AMC uh, Eagle. Yeah, the AMC Eagle based in the 19, in the late 70s, early 80s. And we're running out of road. What's this gun it? Gun all the way down, slow it down a tad to four times slow mo. Damn. Really smoked that wheel there. Broke the drive shaft, and here we go in the water. Upside down, engine's flooding with water. Let's try to save it and get this back on the shore. And here we go. Let's just roughly throw it on here. Radiator is leaking because I hit the freaking hood of the vehicle. Because of my atrocious node grabbing skills, tore the left side off. But can it still drive? Oh, I forgot. Drive shaft's broken, so can't drive. So another D series that I got here, another variant is the D45 Box Uplift, which is an early 90s D series truck with a box frame chassis on here. And not only that, instead of just driving a white box truck, you can add a couple liveries on here so you can extend the, the frame right here, go to the uplift and cargo box livery. You got two to choose from, from beam moving and truck it up livery. So go to beam moving, which is a fictional moving company, it's B moving. And that's how you say it. We'll get it there in one piece. 1 800 B move. And the rear B move, 1 800 B move. Same thing on this side, and nothing on the front end. For the truck it up livery, we got the truck it up, the smarter rental with go truck it up dot BNG and a basic go truck it up dot BNG and the company's logo and model right there. I think I personally like the B-moving, so let's spawn up the B-moving livery, change the livery out, and head on over to the Observatory, which was one of the highlights of the remastered version of Jungle Rock Island, which I did see that Twitter post when they had that, like, I think over a month or two ago when they did those Teaser Tuesdays, or Teaser, I think it's Teaser Tuesdays, where they post, like, dev updates of, like, their updates for the upcoming game, like, this here Jungle Rock Island, the interiors of the new d series and everything and that was like about a couple months ago i did see that with the um the observatory that they were adding into this map here and despite going over 60 miles an hour weaving left and right in this freaking narrow ass road this windy road we're still doing okay we got this bend coming up here oh uh, slow down a little and let's just go in the interior for the heck of it without tipping over and we did a slight drift in this freaking truck, and there's some vines underneath this tunnel. Well, it's around the tunnel, but that way, slow down. Not too bad. I'm thinking of, like, the world's best truck driver in this game. If I could get you to one place or another, whether you're moving, driving a, uh, rental truck, I could make that happen for you. 
All right, going uphill. This should take me there. If not, then uh, must be capping. And there you are. This is the brand new observatory they have added in the game. As promised in the teaser Tuesdays or Thursdays, I'm getting that wrong. Should I go back to Twitter and their YouTube community tab. And this is it. The brand new observatory rusted out. You got two of the observatory uh, domes here that are just rusted out and broken and got some vines and leaves growing atop of it. And there's nothing in the interior. Probably to save some space and memory by loading into the game. And this here statue is dedicated to nobody, unfortunately. So now let's go over to West Coast USA, which they did some improvements on here, which uh, if you would remember like back then where you've seen some of my videos or just seeing West Coast USA that they had a bunch of road closures all over the place. Let's spawn over Redwood Forest just to show you proof of the newly open roads that you will see in this map. So now I'm in the flatbed version of the D-Series and this is the new update. We got tunnels now, a vast amount of tunnels in this game. As you can see, uh, we're in a tunnel now. <laughs> well, if you would remember in the, um, the last update, and not only that, if I could go right, I could go on a, uh, a new freaking interchange into this map here. Like, you see right there? That's the toll booth usually you spawn at when you choose the, uh, the highway spawn in the, um, map selector. So that's where you should be spawning at, right by the toll booth. And now I'm going the wrong way now. Now there's a U-turn spot, uh, whatever it you really call it for, like, uh, emergency vehicles that can legally make a U-turn, but not regular vehicles. I was about to say, they got a lot of tunnels out here. Like, usually when you see those, uh, road closures, like, at the previous update, well, now they pretty much open it back up. Let's get on the right side of the road. Can I stay on? Oh, this could be deadly. Whew. Not as deadly, but death-defying. So back at the right side of the road, I don't know if up ahead, if they do have this road open, normally it forces you to go on the, uh, the Mojave Road East exit up ahead. So let me zoom in, like zoom way in and see, whoops, if they know it's now, uh, Santa Barra. So they did open this road up here. Wow. Look at this. Right now it would have been closed. In the previous update, well, back then it would have been closed. Now we are in another tunnel. The vast amount of tunnels in this game. Getting some hunters here. Into the wall, screw that, but we're still doing okay, right? And now we have to forcefully stay left to a gave trail. So that bridge or that tunnel um, on ramp or whatever, that road there, access road, is unfortunately closed as of right now. And now exiting the tunnel. Anything familiar? Kind of. All right, screw it. Right into here, full speed. Nice, and we're 50 50 in board sliding at the frickin' guardrail. That's the tilde key. And like that, we have horribly board slided on the guardrail. So that crash was done in mind because they did add a few uh, locations here, which I think I'm going to teleport over there. One of them is a logistics center. I think it's right by the racetrack here, which I'm conveniently right by. And another one is a central station. And I believe this might be the new logistics center right here, right? Uh, shuffleboard logistics and distribution. Yes, this is the brand new logistics center in West Coast, USA. And I kind of remembered some of this, like if I kind of like retrace my steps going on this track here. Uh, this was like borderline empty right here. Oh yeah, this was like completely empty-ish, like right around here. Huh. So a brief drive around here with the new skin to, I think, all police vehicles is the police interceptor skin. First of all, let's take you guys a look at it. So you got the police department and police interceptor, like almost a stealthy gray car with a uh, hint of blue on the uh, front bumper, the top of the doors there, and it wraps around, not necessarily to the back, and the big old police interceptor on the rear bumper of the vehicle, including the unit car number here. Same thing on the doors, and not on the front. So driving on in, ignoring the 5 mile an hour speeding limit, let's just briefly go over, over here, and then let's go to the central, uh, station. I think it's for buses, and I think there was, like, a, uh, underground, like, station. I don't know if it's for, like, trams or something, but it's gonna be a very short drive around here. And after this here drive, which I think I'm about to, like, wrap up here, go to central station. Yeah, so not a whole lot of stuff here, but it is kind of neat having uh, a new building here right next to the racetrack here, so... 
Not bad. So right behind me is Central State- what the hell? Uh, my brakes are on, but that's going off. As I was saying, this here behind me is Central Station for the buses here. You got two of the bus stops and the bus lane that I'm, uh, going perpendicular and driving down to, uh, this here, uh, flight of stairs. Can I still go? Nope, I'm embarrassingly stuck on here. Unless I can get myself free, what's this gun it? Gun it. So, going left will take me to the convenient, uh, yeah, convenience center. Convention center. <laughs> I'm saying convenience center, I'm so stupid, and... Gee, let's take an interior shot, and... Wow, that's it? I thought there was more road than... this. <laughs> so all that is, is a pedestrian tunnel. And holy crap, recovery mode has really changed. And I forgot, they did, like, somewhat overhaul the vehicle uh, recovery thing right here, so let me go down these stairs... ...and then tap the left button on my controller, which is the recovery mode. So tap it. I'm back to here. Hold to recover even further. Okay, so you tap recover, it recovers like a like a instant respawn from where you spawned in at, and if you hold recover, you basically recover from where I've been driving. So let me demonstrate the new smart spawning feature in this game. So let me just quick spawn a bolide. Instead of just spawning through the wall in a tunnel. Mmm, I'm dumb. Alright, bolide, let's just do uh the 390 GTR. Spawn new and watch. Boom, now I'm over here now, instead of just, uh, let's say, I spawned a bolide and it spawns, like, right here, through the, the terrain, the dirt, and through this wall here. Instead of just doing that, now I'm over here now. Now let's spawn another vehicle and let's, um, let's do a pigeon. A heavy pigeon, which is a mod on here. Spawn new. Oh my god. There's a severe thunderstorm warning in this freaking part of town. So keep spawning in, Grand Marshal. Now I'm like, right up the bullide's ass. And let's do one more, let's, try, let's get a big boy out. Let's do the, uh, the Wentworth bus out. And see where it's gonna spawn. It's probably gonna spawn to the right and behind... ...me. Well, kinda to the right, but not like, almost centered in as I thought it would be. And one more big boy. Let's do an automation vehicle. I guess the frickin' X deck would be good enough. <laughs> where is this gonna go? I thought I had the trolley, but... Do I have it or did I disable it on my mod menu? So here is the X deck on the road. Not in the uh, the tunnel, but on the road. And also about this X deck, this was one of my automation at BMG builds, which you can check that out on my channel. So here are all the vehicles. The first boy, which was replaced from the sunburst, and all the others that were spawned in smartly with the new smart spawn system, which does include the X deck parked on the road, not in the tunnel, but on the road. That is impressive. So the 200 BX, I think they did add a uh, yes, a drag beater and a drag bottle. Up. Take, uh, tell me what this looks like. The uh, livery right here. Does this look very, very familiar to you? So spawn us in for a closer look. I mean, minus the, uh, wheelie bar, but just the overall looks. So, well, first of all, before I, uh, move my camera around again, go to camera and check collision, which enables or disables collision to camera with the ground and object. So I'm going to enable that and watch me pan right. It detects the wall and zooms in for you. Let's, let's, let's go way out and then do it again. Pretty neat, huh? Say, this is giving me some freaking Need for Speed Pro Street vibes. Your boy, Ryan Cooper, get that one announcer that would pretty much yells out his name awkwardly, including Joey Tech and everybody, like, Hey, look, check it out! It's Ryan Cooper! Every time you, like, pull up to the race or a drag strip on here, but... <laughs> This is kind of interesting, they're like, almost paying homage to the freaking Need for Speed Pro Street game with, uh, this kind of livery, like the first car you drive in the game. So for a grand finale, we're gonna be doing two more races on here. The first one we're doing is a drag race against the Barstow here, and a second one, hopefully the AI works, unless we do a time trial run, is going to the dirt road with the trophy truck. So let's start off with the drag race. An honorary the Need for Speed announcer. Hopefully I don't be cringy as possible. We got, I don't know, Bradley Hunter or whatever the, um, drag racers, Carol Monroe in the game. And then you got the announcer. Just literally no bun. And check it out! It's Ryan Cooper! Just show him some pulling up, pulling up, pulling up to the line, and then... Heat your tires. I've heat my tire. Max burnout. So you're revving. 
Revan, Revan, go. Your boy Bradley's falling away, not anymore because of Brian Cooper, bitch. Don't tell me what to do. Look at me, going 130, 140, and then races over breaks. All right, 9.8 seconds, him, 10.5 seconds. I got 150 miles an hour, he got 137. So now I'm ready for speed, just keep slamming the brakes. That one song that keeps playing every time you freaking win a race, that no. You know I know it, cause we're whatever, and then that's it. So I got a total of five vehicles here. I'm going to be in the pre-runner trophy truck here, the pre-facelift model, the D-Series, while all the others are in the regular runner ones, the facelift models of the D-Series. These four are controlled by the AI, while me in the pre-runner will be controlled by me. So of each and every AI on here, let's uh, freeze the physics, and hopefully it behaves, go to traffic, and set the limit of, uh, let's do 70 miles an hour for every truck on here. All right, hopefully this works out. Unfreeze physics, and add a shipping container to encourage the AI not to leave the track, and let's just go. Go right on ahead, and... Wow, they're going pretty slow. All right, change them all to set. Instead of their limit at 70 miles an hour, they have to go 70 no matter what. And this guy in red has wiped out green, uh, blue is crashing up. I almost called him green for some odd reason. Swerve right around him, no problem. And I think doing a lot of these may have been a bad idea. Getting some like 20 frames or 15 frames per second up in here. I hear the truck right behind me. And wow, blue's got a lot of damage. He's carrying a bumper on him. She, she's carrying a bumper. Move out of the way, buddy. Do a little bit of the first person view, the driver's seat, and then go back to um third person and nice jump at first person view. How about this jump right here? We got a missing wheel. What? Okay, here's the jump. Here's where it all matters. First person and did somebody crash out? Oh look, two people crashed out. <laughs> two people crashed out. Am I gonna make it? Uh barely. Good enough being in slow motion. So we're just gonna do a couple laps in here. Probably three laps and we done the video. So coming around the final corner, I think. Yeah, our final corner. Uh, hurry up on here and restart. So a one... Oh, we can just stop the timer right then and there. 132.25 for our first lap. Two more laps to go. All right, I hear the other drivers. Where are they at? Are they still stuck? Um, we got this guy. Let's uh, slowly crash into him. Crash into this guy. Can you go, please? I'm trying to save you. Whatever, you probably don't need my help. And I just flipped you upside down, sorry. Well, if he's gonna die of engine starvation, who cares about him? If I would like a better processor, I would have had a whole lot of like frame dips in here or there, or just trying to load, well, this here race. We've got five cars total. And yeah, this is probably like, he's upside down. 15 frames per second, so one down, oh, two, uh, three down. That leaves me and the other car, which I don't know where he's at. Where he at though? Right there, he's flipped over. Well, I don't know if I should call that a day. I'm upside down. Well, this guy's unfortunately stuck. Let me respawn all of them, and I'm just gonna keep driving. That really screwed up the freaking uh, steering line, but I'm here, I'm like auto steering hard to the right here, big time. So ignoring that, we should have been like at a 130 for our lap time, and how hard am I pulling? Oh, that's pulling left now. It's like bending to the left. And am I gonna restart the timer again or no? Let's see. No, let's just do one more lap. One more lap of this carnage and we'll be done this video and look at that tire by that camber right there. Really screwed that up in a the jump there. Like every time I turn left, it's like putting the camber down even more. Like to the point where the axle's gonna snap. And not only that, where the truck's at. Well, there's this truck coming. Let's see if he actually makes the jump. So here's green, uh, free cam this, free cam this. Here he comes. Slow mode for him. He makes the jump. Next cars, a uh, blue truck is going to miss, including this guy here. Both of them missed the jump. And this guy, red, red, oh my god, missed the jump. So all three of them missed the jump. And real quick, reset the guy. You're starving. You're starving, brother. Same with you. You're starving, brother. Well, let's just finish the race about him. Um, he's going to be still stupid, just be upside down, struggling to get on top of the bump there. And how all of a sudden I made a one minute lap time? Did a random truck cross a checkpoint or something? And there's a big question mark. Damn it. I, I would have missed a jump right there. I'm trying again. Oh, here's the green truck again. Hold on. 
I'm stuck. All right, here he comes. He come. He came around me just fine, and he misses it. Knew it right then and there. He missed it, and somehow he knew the path to uh, come back. Or no, that's the one that survived, and all these failed. Moat got a fresh truck instead because I couldn't make the jump. So one more jump and finish this race off. So jump. That was healthy. I heard a truck struggling to restart, and I ran over that dude's fender. So coming out in the last turn, this isn't for the record books, but we do get a time of, ignore that, 2 minutes, 34 seconds, 769 milliseconds. The best time, our first lap, 1 minute, 32 seconds, 25 milliseconds. Let me see the other trucks here. I heard, uh, somebody is starting up as you can barely hear. Is it this guy? What if I get him upright? Well, his radiator's screwed up. Oh uh, yeah, he's hella broke. And can this guy still drive? Why is he stopped? Drive shaft. Well, who needs him? So that'll do it with BBG Drive with update 0.21. It is pretty interesting of an update how you got a buttload of new D-Series trucks, especially the Trophy Truck, the Runner. Well, one example is the Sports Truck and the Wannabe Ryan Cooper Mobile, the b 200 BX Drag Car. And also to include, I do like the new updates here with the new tunnel system and all the other etc. stuffs with West Coast USA and the revamp and remaster of Jungle Rock Island, which was BMG's like early maps back in the day, which is a map that I rarely visit, but it looks pretty great to be honest with you with the new observatory, new hangar, even though the tree growing through the hangar is pretty much illegal. But who cares about that? It's a great update overall. New vehicles, a couple pimped out additions to a couple of maps. I'm pretty much happy with it. So this has been Mr. Jacket Triple Zero. I'll see you in the next video.